Okay, Dennis here. This uh, video and slide will be about how to write your output to a text file instead of to the console window. So when writing to a text file, you basically need to have three things. You have to specify the file name and location of the file you're writing to. You have to create something called a file object and then you have to create a print writer object and that print writer object will work with that file object uh, to make this happen. So when you create the file object uh, you're going to say something like file that is a data type by the way or a class and then this will be the name of your object in this case I called it my file gets new a file uh, it's going to be an object of type file and this is the name of the text file that I'm going to create. By the way, if I don't specify a location for the text file, it's going to exist inside of the project folder. A second way to do this is I can use a string and I could say string my file name and I can assign it to a value and then I could say file my file object or my file gets new file and then I can use that variable name. Another way would be to say string, my file name, gets, and then I would specify the entire path. And if I'm going to use a um, path specifier uh, divider, I would have to use double backward slash or double forward slash, either way. Um, so that creates my file object. Once I create a file object, I actually use that in my print writer to create a print writer object. So a file object is then used with print writer to actually be able to write to the file object. In short, this file class and this print writer class go together. The file class and the print writer class go together. So the next step is create the print writer object. So the print writer object goes like this. Print writer, name of your object, for example, out gets new print writer and I have to have this file object here note this is the uh, file object from file uh, now when I do this print writer statement it's either going to work or it's not so if print writer is able to access this file object and read or write to it then it'll be successful otherwise it throws an exception so since the print writer object could throw an exception, you're going to use your file and print writer statements inside of a try clause. And in your catch, you're going to have code to handle whatever you want to do if it doesn't work. In your try, you're going to have code handling whatever you want to do if it does work. So here's a short program with actual code that uh, should create a file and uh, should write to it. So in main, I created a string called my file name, or file name, and it's writing to dennis.txt, which is in a folder called workspace, which is on my C drive. So I am uh, going to try to create this file object. Then I'm going to try to create this printer object. Uh, if it's successful, then I will continue with this next line. Uh, whatever this says, there's no COVID, big hoax, yada, yada, yada. I output to I use this out object uh, to write to just like I use the system.out.print line to write to but this is writing to the file not to the uh, not to the screen once I'm done using my print writer object I close it and uh, and so on so if it fails I come down in here and I say no can open and then I abort so let's watch it run so when it runs, uh, I got to here and it says it must have worked, right? Only way I'll know is go out into my uh, into my uh, file folder. So here's my C drive and here's that workspace folder. And in that workspace folder, there's Dennis.txt. And in Dennis.txt, there is... Oh, not COVID. It is a big hoax. Maybe I should have said no COVID. I'm going to fix that. There is no COVID. It is a big hoax. Uh, now, watch what happens if I change this to the X drive. I don't have an X drive. And when I run it, it's going to throw the exception. So ready, set, go. 
no can open aborting. See it? Now, notice when I run this with no location specifier, it's going to run. Uh, it must have worked right. So now this is going to be putting in the workspace wherever I'm working. So that's in a different workspace. So let me show you that. So I actually have my workspace set up to write to my Google Drive, and it's uh, writing right into my uh, uh, Java RTV class. So here's that workspace. And in that workspace, let's hope I wrote there. Hang on a minute. Let's see what's going on. It's actually inside of this grading project. So that's the project I'm working on. So notice here's my project folder called grading project. Not inside my SR, SRC folder, but right inside the grading project folder is dennis.txt. And if you open it, there is no code, but it is just a big hoax. So anything that I would do in here, anything I would do in here, using out dot would uh, keep going into this file. And let me show you one more thing, uh, out dot. And notice in my print writer, I have all of these methods. So there's my print method, there's my print f method, and there's my print line method. So everything that we're already used to uh, is there for us. All right, so I uh, wanted to keep this video short. That's about all I have to say uh, about keeping it short, sweet, and simple. Uh, let me summarize. I need a file object. I need a print writer object. When I create the print writer object, I need to make sure I don't throw an exception. If I throw an exception, I handle it. I then use my print writer object to echo things to the file object. And when I'm done, I close it. Okay, like I'm closing this right now. Have a good day.